Yo, what's bounce my brain is it Sage here, bringing you guys a gameplay commentary of an epic S&D game that me and my mate Trent got a few days ago. So today we're going to be talking about how one player in a whole team or a group of people has the power to change the pace and outcome of a game. This may not be by how many kills that one player has, but it may just be by a single play that player makes and can change the whole momentum of the game and get your team the win. So this game I wasn't playing that well at all, until my mate Trent hyped me up. And I can't stress this enough, if you don't have this certain connection with your team where they can hype you up and get your team playing better and vice versa, then you maybe, look, maybe should look for a new team. As we know, callouts are an essential part for winning a game. People look past the smaller things such as hype and attitude. As me and my team have just noticed, if we're hyped up going into a game, we play flawlessly. Now hype isn't as easy to obtain as it seems. You need to make sure all of your players' heads are in the game and ready for the win. If your team isn't ready to win, hype will not work. Simple as that. That's where attitude comes into collision with hype. If your team is too negative in almost ev every game, then trying to hype them up will more than likely get you frustrated. And when you get angry, no one ever plays well. So for hype to work and get your team pumped up, they all need to be entering a game with a level head. This is why I hate people entering a game and saying, Oh no, it's that guy! Doing this subconsciously puts you in a frame of mind and sets you up for failure. And I know what you're thinking, but Sage, how does hype change the outcome of almost certain failure? The answer is rather simple. If you don't think of pain, does it really hurt? Metaphorically speaking, of course. But if you're just looking at a player as a name on a board and not caring about them personally and just focusing on you, I promise your gameplay will improve. All because you're not thinking of how that good that certain player is. It's because you're thinking he's just another person, another contender. By staying positive, you force yourself to further think of your plays and what to do next ahead of time. Now, the way hype helps this is it triggers you to be positive and more competitive. It helps to watch other players that play in MLG, whether it be Halo, Call of Duty, or even League of Legends. Doing this helps you see that when players are hyped, they are in the game. They are playing to win. And watching other players also helps you grasp the fact that getting hyped drives your determination to win even further. Anyone can say they want to win this game really badly, but how badly do you want to win? A simple exercise I do is when I'm playing, I try to prove something to someone. That I'm playing, that I'm not just playing a game, I'm playing a sport. I guess you could say I'm playing like my life depends on it. Simple material things such as gun skill and map awareness can be all learnt in time. The main thing you want to concentrate and work on is determination. Like, certain questions, do you really want to win? Do you really want to become better? And what are you playing for? If you game for a casual thing to do, all of this information is useless. If you want to make a profession of this, this will probably help you greatly. As everything in life, keeping a good attitude about a situation can change the situation from really shit to really good, and when you're happy, everyone around you is, is going to be happy. If you are the only one out of your team trying, going silent and getting angry is not the way to approach it. Getting dominant and hyped up is a better way to prove to your team that you need this win. For instance, yesterday my team, a rank 1 master team, lost the 3 golds and a bronze, and I know what you're thinking, oh that's just because you're shit. No, it's because all, all because their heads weren't in the game. And one of our members tried to resolve the situation by being completely silent and being, I guess, giving us a silent treatment. This, however, did not work. After the game, we were all pretty pissed at each other. While this, it's okay to get angry, just don't stay angry at each other. Don't be stubborn and admit to the problems that you made as a team. So what we learned from this was to never take a team for granted and always try to stay hyped. As I am saying this, there are good and bad ways to be hyped bad way is that you are hyped for different reasons and you're not focused on the game. The other way is by playing the game and getting your team into the same mindset of winning. You often hear players in MLG shouting, let's go or sit down to the enemy team. This is a prime example of good hype. This shows the other enemy team that you are not going down without a fight. And it also shows your team that you're going in it to win it. So basically that settles it guys. Hype is a, one of the most important things that you could do in a team and for your team. If you really wanted to win a whole game, you basically have to keep your team hyped, winning mindset. Being low and being down on your whole entire team is one way to screw it up for everybody. You've always got to try and, you know, keep your mind inside the game and always want to win. You could beat the 
biggest professional player playing team if you're hyped. 95% of the time, if you're hyped and playing really well and beating the enemy team, the other enemy team is not hyped and they're probably playing like shit. And the reason why they're playing like shit is you're probably making them play like shit. It's all the meta game. If you want to understand what the meta game is, it's basically getting the enemy team pissed off. And as I said before, if you're pissed off, you're never playing well. So getting the enemy team pissed off by using guns they cannot use, using guns that other people never use, or using tactics that people just never think of or just don't know at the time, or being unpredictable usually gets people pissed off and usually can win you games. Unpredictability is a big thing of being hyped. If you be unpredictable and maybe rush out as somebody when they think, oh yeah, you're just going to sit back in the corner, I'm going to just do whatever. If you rush out at them, they're probably going to get the shit scared out of them and probably, like, you know, choke a clutch or something like that. And you'll probably get your team to win. If you get a clutch or something like that, hopefully your team will get excited. That is another way of knowing that your team's hyped up. You know, so... All these little things, all these little key factors are ways that you can tell that your team is hyped and your team is going good. And me and my team just figured out being hyped is a good thing. You know, being pumped up is a good thing. And going into every game now, having that mindset, you know, it sets us up for the win. And uh, we were actually able to set ourselves up and go for 30 win streak versus like master players and all that type of crap. So it's pretty amazing what hype can do. And I know I've already, I don't know, I've probably repeated myself millions and millions of times in this one gameplay, but hopefully, you know, it all makes sense and hopefully you guys can sort of gather what I'm trying to say is that, you know, having a player that can hype you up, having maybe a whole team that can stay hyped up can change the outcome of an, of an event. As you saw in this gameplay, Trent kept me hyped, Trent kept me, you know, going for the win and I did. I went absolutely off. Near the end, I rolled over my streaks twice. So, you know, getting pumped up, keeping yourself pumped up, keeping yourself in a positive mind frame can really just make you win any game that you really want. So anyway, guys, that's basically it. Like if you liked it, like if you disliked, subscribe if you liked it. I'm sorry if this commentary was all over the place and I'm sorry for not uploading yesterday, but hopefully this makes up for it and um, next week will be when the new upload schedule gets put into practice like really hardcore so hopefully you guys liked it and if you're a brand new viewer please subscribe it will help me out a lot and i love you guys very much and i'll talk to you guys later peace and love guys i'm out Search and destroy. Defend the objectives. Time's almost up. Charges acquired.
required. Almost up. 